Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 18th, 2021. Yesterday, we had a little bit of a mix in price action where we saw the industrials moving down. We saw the Russell moving down, small caps. Yet we saw the S&P 500 led by the NASDAQ and particularly big tech pushing the markets back up. So we had this little bit of a mix. However, we didn't really see any technical damage in the charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, how these markets are setting up for today and how we might want to approach the market. First off, let's take a look at the diamonds here. As I've been mentioning um, in the past videos, um, we did slide back beyond that trend and we did place a lower high here in the chart. Notice we have that little bit of a lower high. However, yesterday, although we pressed and pressed and pressed, those bulls defended very, very well. And so far at this point, we have not created a lower low. We still have this price support underneath the chart. And though we pushed down there, we um, had those bulls hold in there strong and prevented us from slipping down and creating that possible lower low. So the good news on the day is that the bulls defended well. They held that level in here and that possibility that we could push on through back to the upside. We do, however, have to keep in mind that possibility does exist that we will test this level if we were to be disappointed in some way, shape or form um, in data today and uh, that possibility that we could um, um, re or test this level of support, possibly putting in that lower high just yet. And if we were to fail that level, then what I'm gonna be looking for is a test down in this area. And that could be a substantial move if we fall through there, and that would create some technical damage. However, no technical damage as of yesterday in the chart. So if we can find that bullish inspiration, no reason to believe we can't push on higher. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, oh my goodness, SPY had a pretty good day holding up overall. Um, and now we have the pre-market pushing to the upside. And it's largely being carried up there by big tech. We seem to have... Um, an unlimited desire to buy up really high price tech stocks to continue to push them higher. And as you can see, we are very, very close to a new record high. We are within striking distance. And I think there is a high probability, even this morning, we may see that new record high in the SPY. So keep that in mind. We have no risk in this chart unless we slip down below that low. And if we were to slip down below that low, just keep in mind, there isn't a whole lot of price support underneath that. So if we were to slip down under there, we could have a substantial decline um, on the way. We do seem to be running a little bit low on momentum as we grind and push to that upside. So kind of keep that in mind as we push up here. You can't rule out that possibility. We'll hit that new record high and then see some profit takers come into the market. Let's take a look at the Q QQQ. Now, QQQ setting up a good bullish morning here. There was no hesitation really yesterday. We pushed up. We ended up pulling back a little bit by the end of the day on the close, but notice in that pre-market, we're pushing to the upside and that possible new record high. We're, we're within striking distance of it. And just keep in mind, if we were to just close here on the day, we have a new closing record high. And that tries, you know, that really attracts more folks. We get that fear of missing out and more folks pile in, hoping that there'll be somebody that willing to, you know, buy up these expensive stocks even higher um, as they continue to grow. Now, keep in mind, um, there is support here in this chart, so we don't have any worries unless we slip down through there. And then keep in mind, once we do that, there really isn't any price support in that chart until we come all the way back down into that area. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, there is that possibility of a substantial pullback 
if it were to begin. Then let's take a look at IWM. IWM, now unfortunately we did create a little bit of technical damage in the chart, but overall I got to give this still up to the bulls because we're holding on to support and trend. So keep in mind, we did create a lower high and a lower low yesterday in the Russell, but we have a year's worth of price support um, holding us here in the chart and we remain above that and we also remain above this trend so again although we have a little bit of technical damage I don't know that it's severe here in any way shape or form we may be just needing to rest and consolidate over here to trend to find that bullish inspiration to move on higher however if we were to slip and drop back below that level then that could become a bit more of a concern if that support doesn't hold so just keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. There we go. The VIX, although we were um, holding up really strong in the SPY and the QQQ, um, we had that bearishness showing up in the Russell and, and, and the uh, Dow, and that pushed us just a little bit up here on our uh, VIX. So keep in mind, what that means is we do have a little bit of a higher low in that possible um, support area that we may be trying to catch here in that if those bears were to find some inspiration to continue to push on higher. However, we continue to hover down here in these low areas. We've got plenty of resistance above, um, but remember when we do start to fall, it usually falls pretty quickly. So that could spike pretty well we have come out from underneath this downtrend and that does give me a little concern here as you guys know one of the patterns i trade is a pattern i call the tried and true where we break that downtrend hold a higher low in there and that does give me a little bit of hesitation a little bit of concern but for now we're doing okay in here um, if the bulls push through this morning we could easily see um, this level right here break and we pushed back down here to these levels. So if those bulls can hold in there and continue to drive to the upside, we could certainly break that level. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122, kind of interesting yesterday as the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ uh, continued to pound higher. Notice we had more stocks selling than we had going up. So our T2122 has pulled back and we're trying to find that bullish inspiration today to move higher. So in the fact that we have pulled back in this T2122 opens up a pretty substantial upside opportunity uh, before we reach any bearish reversal zone here. So that has given us um, plenty of room to move to the upside now because of that pullback. But also keep in mind, we haven't completed this move to the downside. We didn't do it over here either, so there's no reason to believe that we have to. But just keep in mind that if those bears were to find some reason for inspiration, we still have more downside that could be possible here in the market. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our T21. Oh, seven. Now, I got to tell you, this is a little bit of a concern. Notice that yesterday, um, as SPY and QQQ held up really, really strong, this just kind of shows us that we had more stocks declining than we did going up. So on our T2107, the stocks that are above their 200-day moving average, notice we slipped below that trend now that doesn't mean all that much if we were to just turn around and bounce right back up but that is a little bit of concern that we have um, slipped below that and earlier in the day we were a little bit lower than that we came in with about 46 percent 47 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. So that's an awful lot of weight. If that continues to press down, that could be a problem. And as I continue to mention that we seem to be running into a little bit of a momentum problem because we're, um, we're not as QQQ continues to lift everything else. 
it's struggling to pull these stocks up off of these lows. So watch that carefully um, in the chart. If that continues to slip, that could be a problem. And the same is true with that T2108. Now, I know nobody watches the 40-day moving average. Everybody's a 50-day moving average watcher. I get it, but that's how this indicator is calculated. And you can see that we had also a decline, a pretty substantial decline of stocks failing back below that 40 day moving average. So keep in mind that we are having fewer and fewer stocks as we work to set new record highs above those levels. And that is a little bit of a concern. And that's where I say that momentum might be starting to slip just a little bit. We'll want to watch that closely. Our T2101, T2101, as you can see, we're down here. We're, we're kind of sliding down toward the bottom of the ocean here. But that doesn't mean that we have to fail in the market. It just means that we're continuing to wind this um, big wedge in here. It would only be if we pop above that and hold where I would be worried. Right now, we still are just grinding around here um, as we continue to tighten and tighten this wedge. Just keep in mind that oftentimes when something like this pops, it pops all at once. So um, be careful, be wise. Remember to take some profits in a market like this because one day we could wake up and things could be different. And when I say that, you know, we did see news this morning. If you take a look out there um, in the news reports, S&P 500 or the S&P is suggesting Evergrande is very likely to default. As a matter of fact, there's a story out there that um, one bank is pursuing a bankruptcy um, for Evergrande. That's a big deal, and that's creating a lot of pressure over there in um and um, Asian markets and we saw all Asian markets uh, lower last night except Australia that just squeaked out a little bit of a bullish move. So kind of keep that in mind that we have that potential out there where something could snap creating that issue here in the U.S. Now let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for to, or our economic calendar for today. We have a couple of things on the calendar to make note of. We have the jobless claims. Jobless claims, according to estimates, are supposed to tick a little bit lower. So we're looking for that, and that would be bullish for the market if that were to, to occur. Keep in mind, if that were to miss, that could hesitate, have the market hesitate. But we've done a really good job when this number comes in negative we just ignore it and then um, we have the Philly Fed manufacturing now last time we saw Philly Fed um, we saw a decline in the Philly Fed and um, a little bit of um, concern came into the market because we're seeing those declines in those factory orders well there they are suggesting a little bit more of a decline today so kind of keep that in mind we'll likely ignore it but watch that closely um, in case that were to miss badly that could be a problem have a few Fed speakers here today nothing in particular to worry about we do have a 10-year tips option auction that might be interesting um, with the way bonds have been acting here recently. You might want to keep an eye on that. And then down here at the end of the day, we have the Fed balance sheet. And we don't we don't care about how much debt we print. So nothing to worry about there. Keep in mind as we look forward into Friday, virtually nothing there on the calendar um, to be concerned about on Friday. So uh, no particular worries on how we might close today, whether we can push on through. Let's take a look at that earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we're really lightening up on the number of earnings reports. Um, uh, we only have uh, around 35 companies on the, the calendar today. However, we do have quite a few um, notables to still um, keep in mind. Today we're going to hear from uh, Baba. Baba will be reporting. Well, it looks like they kind of disappointed here this morning. Um, we might want to keep an eye on that. We've got AMAT, Applied Materials Reporting. Keep an eye on that. We're also going to hear from a little more retail. We've got uh, BJ's. Um, reporting looks like they're getting a bullish move here this morning. Uh, we've got Pan W. Palo Alto will be reporting. Watch that. Uh, we've got some defensive sector. Post will be reporting today, and W Day for a few that um, are notable today. If you want the full list of notable reports, guys, do me a favor. Click 
that link just below the title of the video will take you back to the morning blog where you can get the full list. Um, so how about we take a look at some stocks setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, just a quick reminder, if this is the first time that you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful, I know they're quite a bit different than what you might find in other places where I avoid all the hype, I avoid all the prediction. We just look at the technicals of the chart in trying to decide how um, how we might want to approach the market for today. And um, if you find those to be helpful, click that thumbs up button, continue to leave those comments. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And we are growing. We're getting closer and closer to um, 24,900. And as we reach that 25,000, if you got, as you guys remember, I am going to be giving away, I do wood carving and I'm gonna be giving away a personal wood carving to um, somebody um, on the YouTube channel and you don't have to pick a tree or you can pick a tree, you can pick a tree that's lighted or one that's not, you can pick something else um, out of here, um, an ornament of some kind, I'm happy to send that to you. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and be uh, very, very focused on the risk of these trades. You should never ever blindly follow someone else's trade idea. Let's take a look at what happened to Oracle, uh, excuse me, Cisco last night. Oh my goodness. Um, Cisco got kicked in the teeth here really hard. Um, last night. What we've seen here recently in the market, as soon as we get a massive sell-off like that, almost immediately buyers come rushing in to buy it up. <laughs> we just don't seem to care anymore. But watch that carefully. Um, there is that possibility that we could rally back into price resistance and then Cisco becomes a potential short. So watch carefully for that. Um, let's take a look at something that's looking a little bit better than that. Let's take a look at plug, plug power. Um, we saw um, Plug trying to take off yesterday, but unfortunately they took it all back um, yesterday, but we're still holding into this nice little supporting area, but we may start to slip this trend. So I do have a little bit of concern and please keep in mind, I am holding this trade. So I may be biased on that position, but watch that closely. There still may be that possibility that'll push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. There may be some interest in that trade chart. I want to mention um, FCX. FCX pulling back and we're pulling back. Um, notice into here we've got a little bit of trend and a little bit of price support that co could come into play. I usually look for charts like this because I want to catch the trade before the big candle might come in. So watch this on this nice little resting pullback into support and trend. That possibility that we could find some buyers in here and push on through to the upside. Now we do have bonds pulling back today. We've been worried about those bonds going up. We've been worried about currency, um, US dollar going higher. We're getting a little bit of relaxation on that today. So that's helping out and that could also pull this down a little bit further. So just keep a close eye on it. It may not be quite ready for prime time here in uh, the trade. Um, keep a close eye on retail. Oh my goodness, retail has been pretty amazing here um, recently. Take a look at Macy's. Oh my goodness, Macy's popping hard this morning on their earnings report. Keep an eye on that as this tries to move on higher. Um, watch that closely. Retail has been very, very strong. We've been seeing moves in, uh, you know, like Gap stores popped and then failed. So Gap may be running into some trouble, but take a look at like Under Armour. Under Armour rallying nicely after its earnings report. We had a little bit of selling in there, pushing on up. We're seeing good things happen there. We're seeing some really good things happening here this morning on Kohl's. Um, trying to push through some upside um, in those charts. So watch that carefully. Um, and, and it's particularly in the small retail. Um, 
that we're seeing that strength. When we look at stocks like Target, well, not so much. WMT, yeah, not so much. Um, bull, bulls aren't there, but we certainly are strong in some of those other areas. Let's take a look at Ford. I continue to mention Ford, and one of the reasons I do, I just really love a pattern like this where we're holding in here on um, a trend and we're resting. And notice that that resting period is nice and tight, really tight consolidation. So I can just place a price alert up here and wait. If this continues to consolidate, and by the way, in my opinion, the longer this consolidates in that small range over toward trend, the better this trade becomes because I create a stronger level of price support. So I'll be watching this chart for that opportunity to maybe push on through and move on up in that chart. So there's a few stocks for you to um, take a look at. I apologize, I'm gonna cut this video just a little bit shorter than normal because I'm short on time this morning. I wanna wish everyone a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great success. Go Bulls, we may hit some new records today and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great one, everyone.